Hi everybody, thank you for watching. So today's video is going to be all about the new Too Faced White Chocolate Chip Palette. Oh yes, here we go. Uh, first of all, if you are new here, thank you so much for coming by my channel. My name is Samantha. I post videos about four or five times a week. So I hope that you will hit the subscribe button so you'll be notified when I post future videos. But yes, today we are going to be talking about this new release from Too Faced. I also want to point out real quick, this is my first video filming with a light. If you are not new to my channel, you know that I've always filmed with just natural light and I've never had any real lighting. I recently purchased a softbox and I am filming with that. So I don't know for sure exactly how the lighting is going to be. I've tried to do a couple test videos just to be sure, but in case you think something looks off or looks wonky or I don't know something, it's because I'm filming for the first time like a first like real for real video with a softbox I can leave my lights linked down below in case you're interested I just got them off Amazon and they were pretty inexpensive and I'm just using one of the soft boxes and I'm actually filming at night so this whole video is just like super weird to me but you know what let's just go with it but like I said it's gonna be all about this new palette it was just released from Too Faced so I'm excited for it I seriously just got it in the mail so I haven't been able to play with it yet but why don't we go ahead open it up and see what this is all about okay so first this is what the packaging looks like so we got the Too Faced white chocolate chip palette so it says this white chocolate chip palette features 11 cocoa powder infused buttery shades and pastels creamy nudes and a pop of black all with our signature chocolate scent okay and then when you open it up this is what the actual palette looks like a close-up of the palette this is $26 I got mine on Sephora the white chocolate chip palette is exclusive to Sephora it was supposed to release I believe it was Black Friday I was what I was originally told and then it actually didn't come out until Cyber Monday it was released the night before on Sunday night only for VIB Rouge members on Sephora that is when I purchased it and why I was able to get it a little bit early so when you open it up there is a mirror here which I'll try to cover so I'm not blinding anyone and then here is a close-up of the shades okay so um, first impression when I opened it up and took out this palette, the first thing that ran through my head, I'm going to be completely honest, was this looks like children's makeup. That was my first, that was my first opinion. Um, just going to be really real. So, I mean, this is plastic. I don't own any of the chocolate bar palettes from Too Faced, which is why I thought I would get this because they released this and the chocolate chip palette, which is an all matte palette, which is exclusive to the Too Faced website. They released these around the same time and they're supposed to be kind of like the chocolate bar palettes, like mixed together, favorite shades, that sort of thing. And so I think if you own the chocolate bar palettes, you probably wouldn't need these mini palettes, but since I don't own any of them, I picked the white chocolate chip palette to get it. Just kind of spoke to me more. I like that it had the matte and the shimmers. So um, the size is, is very small. I mean, I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's a teeny tiny little palette. For reference, this is the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. And this is the white chocolate chip palette. But I believe this was $49, this was $26. So I don't know, that's just to give you some idea. But then even the shades are very, very small. I can go ahead and try to do a comparison of these. Like, so the actual pan sizes are, of course, much, much smaller. Right off the bat, kind of what I think is that I don't think this should have been $26. I mean, just my honest opinion, right off the bat seeing this, I did not realize it was going to be this small. I truly didn't. Um, I, did, I knew it was gonna be a mini palette. I knew I wasn't getting this in the mail for $26, but I wasn't expecting something this small. So without swatching it, without playing with it, I'm slightly disappointed in the size and I'm just a little disappointed at how teeny tiny the actual pan shades are. Those are very, very small. If we compare it to the peach collection, so the eyeshadows are 0.5 grams and then in the peach palette they are 0.95 grams. 
So, I mean, there's an idea. I think I have that correct. Hopefully I do. 11 shades in here, 18 shades in here. So, um, I mean, I guess, I mean, that's just kind of like my first thoughts when I opened it up, when I looked at the package, when I held it in my hand and saw how small it was. But, um, yeah, let's go ahead. Let's see what the shades look like. I mean, I am really, really crossing my fingers that these are just going to be like the bomb diggity. But uh, why don't we just go ahead and jump into some swatches. On the back, it does list the names, which is nice because obviously the packaging is so tiny. There's no place to actually like put the names on here. But uh, let's just go ahead. You guys know I don't have a huge swatch game, but... Uh, I'll go ahead and give it a try. Okay, so right off the bat, it's actually hard to swatch because it's so small. Like, my finger is like, no, that's not where you're supposed to go. Okay, so this is the top row. So this is Glaze, which is the big shade, Ambrosia, and Exotica. So there it is on my fingers. Okay, so I don't know how well you're going to be able to see these. I might try to insert some pictures as well. But to be completely honest with you, that's that that wasn't great and now I'm getting a little bit nervous that was only the first row but uh, the first shade which is glaze which is the larger shade here it's just like chalk I mean it it actually looks like chalk to me okay so that one was very disappointing um, the next one is ambrosia so that is this shade right here um, it's like a light matte pink shade and it is barely showing up. Oh my. This one is pretty, Exotica, if you can see it on my finger there. That one is pretty. It's a very pretty, like, um, almost like a rose gold champagne-y type of shimmery color. That one is really pretty and is showing up really well. But out of the first three, um, that's really about the only shade that's actually showing up. So the first two are pretty disappointing. But... Let's try the next two rows and see what happens, fingers crossed. Okay, so we're going to keep it rolling. I'm going to do the second row next. So it's Pearl Candy, Raspberry Rose, Indulge, and Guilt Free. Again, just, oh, that one is chalky. Oh, guys, I'm feeling a little nervous right now. I'm not going to lie. Okay, let's just try though. Never know until you try. Here is the second row. So we have Pearl Candy, Raspberry Rose, Indulge, and Guilt Free. This first one right here, which is Pearl Candy, I mean, it's okay. It's showing up really well as a swatch, but it is very, very chalky, very, very crumbly. I would feel pretty worried about putting that one on my eyes. So this one right here is Raspberry Rose. And I mean, it's like a pretty, like very light pink shimmery shade. Just a little bit of a sheen to it. I don't know if I would say it's shimmery or more just has like a light sheen to it, but it's not showing up the best. Oh my. First one is just way too chalky. The next one, it's such a light, light color that it's really not showing up the best. Um, the third one, which is Indulge, that's a pretty fun shimmery shade. That one's pretty good. And then the last one, which is Guilt Free, I like this one. It's just kind of like a cool toned matte shade. It's almost like a gray purple. And I do like that one, but... Man, I'm getting a little, I'm still getting a little nervous here, guys. These swatches aren't going how I was hoping they would go. So I'll go ahead and swatch the last row now. So the last row is cake batter, cookie dough, sugared raisin, and then black sugar. Okay, so here those are, are really disappointing. Wow, um, I was hoping this video was going to go a lot better, but wow. Um, the last four, the first two, I mean, I know that I'm saying it might be hard to see it because of the lights, but I can't even see the swatches. And I actually went back in two times and tried to build up the swatches. Um, one's kind of like a very muted peach color. 
The other one, it looks like it's supposed to have some sparkle to it, but really nothing's happening. Uh, overall first impressions, you guys, I just, I don't even, I don't, I don't even know what to say at this point. So, this shade right here looks like it has some sparkle in it, but there's barely any sparkle showing up. Um, the third shade, which is Sugared Raisin, that one is actually pretty. That one is nice. The black one is barely black at all. Again, barely any shimmer to it. I mean, when you look at it in the palette, it looks like it's just a ton of shimmer. There's barely any shimmer to it at all, and it looks just like dry and patchy. Um, wow, I... I have to say, first impressions um, after I'm doing the swatches is I'm actually pretty disappointed in this. And that bums me out so much. That is, I was so excited about this palette. That's why I got it. That's why I got it early. That's why I was waiting anxiously for the UPS to get here because I was really excited for it. But based on these swatches, I'm, I'm just not super impressed right now. Again, I haven't tried it on my eyes. I am definitely going to try a couple looks. I will try this out on my eyes if you guys want to see me film a tutorial so you can see it in person as well and see what we're getting from this palette. Please do leave that in the comments below because I will be happy to film a first impression makeup tutorial with this, but just based on the swatches, I can't say that I'm super excited. So basically all of the mattes in here are just really not up to snuff, which makes me really curious how the chocolate chip palette is since that is all matte. I'm just very curious what it's going to come out like. The shimmers in here, there's a couple of the shimmers that I think are very, very pretty, but some of these that are supposed to be shimmery, there's, there's no sparkle to them. There's no glitter to them. It just looks very strange. Um, again, I will try to insert a, a photo here of all the swatches on my arm so you guys can see them. I will share swatch photos on my Instagram as well. I am March Beauty Word if you want to see more. If you want to see me do the first impression eye makeup tutorial with this palette as well, please do just leave that in the comments below and let me know. But overall, first impressions, uh, I'm gonna have to say that I'm actually pretty disappointed with this palette. That really, really bums me out for $26. I mean, I was expecting maybe a bigger palette. I don't I don't know. You know, I was like, maybe it's not a big deal if the palette is so small. The actual pan sizes, you know, are not bad, but the pan sizes are just tiny, and then just the way this is swatching, and the actual swatches are just not, not going well. Um, like I said, I'll definitely do an eye makeup tutorial and try to see if maybe it comes out better on the eyes. It definitely could. So, I mean, I'm not saying that you need to pass on this quite yet because I don't feel like that's fair to say without actually trying it on my eyes and seeing what it would look like then. But uh, first impressions is not, not so good for the Too Faced White Chocolate Chip Palette. I'm so sorry to say that. That really blows. Um, does anyone else have this? Did you get it? Have you tried it out? Please leave it in the comments below. Do you love it? Is there certain shades that you love? Uh, I would absolutely love to know that, but I'm now very, very anxious to get into this to try it out with a makeup tutorial, so hopefully that will be coming soon. Again, this is $26. It is exclusive to Sephora. At the time that I'm filming, it is sold out, but it will be coming back. $26, 11 shades. You're getting a combination of matte and shimmer shades. So, um, yeah, that's going to wrap it up for my first impression and swatch video for the Too Faced White Chocolate Chip Palette. I'm sorry that couldn't go better. I was very, very excited about this palette, so I'm coming off just a little bit disappointed, but uh, like I said, I'm going to give a tutorial a try and see what happens, so leave me your feedback in the comments below. What did you think of the palette? What did you think of the swatches? Do you have it? Will you get it? Are you going to pass on it now? Let me know what you're thinking down below, but that will be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you found it somewhat helpful. Hopefully that helps you out if you are considering getting this palette. Please do give it a thumbs up if you did like it, and if you want to see more first impressions on new makeup, make sure you are subscribed before you go, and I'll catch you real soon in my next one. Bye.